Hello, I'm Jerry Rigged, and this is the Duskers Daily Challenge for July 29th, 2018. Looking at yesterday's leaderboard, I'm not too bad overall with 17 players, which is unfortunately still down. T1B, LB, Reuven, and Deck of Void scored a 1065, getting in and out. Actually, nope, nope. Deck of Void was almost as fast as LB. Uh, getting in and out of that ship in very short order, getting an extra drone upgrade and some other stuff, and generally doing damn well for a four minute run. Right behind them, Deno also managed to get some things out that I wasn't able to and ended up with a 1005 despite taking a little bit more damage. I scored a 1000. And we have Ashed White at 995, Quietus 1 1 at 985, along with Copper and Jeebs 19. Looking at the rest of the frizz list, we also have Kobo Commando in 11th with a 9.15, and Mustika 21 with a 912. Overall, transport made a lot of differences yesterday, and especially considering there was a drone at stake. Huge difference, potentially. Today we have Sensor, and, well, slightly below average drone health. I am back home, still a little bit sunburned, but on a keyboard now. Which I'm much happier about on a proper keyboard at my standard, you know, computer and everything else. But today we have unknown infestations on a salvage A with good hull integrity, so hopefully we'll be able to make use of that. I will say this screen looks absolutely humongous compared to the laptop that I've been working with before. D20 is being attacked. That's unfortunate. Let's open up D33. I may have to end this. There's a defense, there's a... Oh, that's nice. Six. Wow, okay. And what was on here? Prize sensor and turret. Okay, well the sensor, speaking of which, Let's do that. And we have unknown infestations today, so I can't really just gauge. Actually, there is one thing that I can do. Even if it's possibly the worst idea that I could. Actually, here's the best idea that I could. If there is a spawn in here, I'll just shoot it with the turret. Alright, no spawn, that's a good sign. Hopefully this is working out. <sighs> All right, I opened that at 54. Time may be problematic. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it at that for now. There we go. All 
Alright, I'm gonna assume that's safe. Do the same thing that I did before. Alright, no slime spawn yet. Um... Now, I don't have the toe on here. Let's go fix that problem. As long as nothing spawns in that room, I'll be fine. Get in motion. That's actually pretty useful. Let me go ahead and take that. Just the one defense. Okay, well, there are... Oh, no. I'm not going to make it. <laughs> okay. D-17 is being attacked. That is terrible. Um, I can't do anything. Actually, there is one thing that I can do. It is not the best idea. I will take damage. I'm going to have to let that door be destroyed first, though. It's been attacked long enough that I do not want to risk that. This is a terrible... Terrible idea. But if I'm going to continue, it is what I must do. Still took one hell of a hit of damage from that, and that was just a small swarm. I'm going to see if I can do motion on that. Okay, so we're good now. We're past eight minutes as well. The whole integrity on here was good, so, so we're probably alright, really. We 
We got a sentry moving? No, we can't have a sentry moving around too, but we do must have a leaper. All right. Oh, there was swarm in there too. Well, that's fantastic. gonna worry about that other room yet couple reasons mainly I don't want to lose a terminal for a different generator before I've discovered what's on it of course you just moved back Okay, there's still swarm in there. That's fine. <clears throat> that means there's a vent in R5 as well. Or there's... Nope, there it is. <sighs> okay, that's fine. I can work with that. This is, by the way, oh, nope. I wasn't watching my time, was I? This is, by the way, LB, an example of what Tin's swarm looks like. And, I mean, there are actually ten of them there. There's five, six, and some more. Alright, let's open up D16, D15, not particularly inclined to trust R5, because vent, and I know with reasonable certainty only a 10 spawn hatch there, as it were, but that way I can at least do two rooms at once, and hopefully get toward one of these other generator rooms that I'm going to eventually need. Actually, because I'm completely forgetting about it, that's motion as well. Well, that sucks, doesn't it? All right. Oh, well, that's indecisive, but... Alright, um...
That just sucks. I could have avoided that whole thing if I just used the motion sensor. Oh, there was something in... Maybe. Maybe, I guess. Um, but I think R10 was probably safe. Maybe both. What did I just kill, anyway? Ten enemies. Okay. So that probably was the last spawn from the... vent. Um... Let me give R5 a little bit of room for a while, I think, though. I can't use R9 for exploration, unfortunately. I can send these to where they need to go. Just the one defense. Okay, well, at least that's useful for something, kind of. Alright. Let's go. Let's explore. That's unfortunate. Let's get these off the ship, especially because I am coming up on the 18-minute uh, radiation risk. Both of those are scannable. That's good. Uh, nope, we're good. Okay. Alright, what am I looking at? Now, there's no way I'm spontaneously going to get anything in one of these rooms now, because... Actually, here's what I'll do. I'm not going to get anything spontaneously in one of these rooms, because we're past the vent time.
Nope. Oh well. There's always one. Where have I not checked yet? Anything else that I can search? Not really, no. Okay. I definitely don't want to risk... Unless I create a, uh, an alternate path out, I don't want to risk... Actually, just do this. I think it'll be okay. By the way, Splash misses me. Her means of conveying that she misses me is to very simple just scream from the kitchen. Okay, generator. I'm not going to be able to get around you. Scammer firm install. Scammer? Scanner firm install. <sighs> I did put a sensor. A good. Okay. Okay. Um. This is actually manageable. Whatever that is, I can push it through and be reasonably sure that it's safe. I can push it over to uh, R11 and then from there maneuver it into R10 and kill it. What? I can go ahead and close that next time it moves. Assuming that it moves. Well, what was that again? D15? R15. Okay. Alright. Uh, are we done with airlocks yet? I think we are. No, we're not. Yes, we are. Wow, okay. I think seven is the maximum for airlocks as well. I don't think I've ever seen more than that, and certainly not today. Uh, that leaves there's that means there's only one room really left. I will go ahead and kill this thing. It's 
Splash! Please! Please! One enemy, so that was a leaper. Looks like R16 should be clear for the moment. Let's just drive straight in there. Let's be ballsy. Anything else on this ship that I haven't checked? No. No ship scan, unfortunately. I think that's gonna be it. No other terminals. Splash! Please! Four and three would be fantastic rooms. Two as well, probably, uh, to, uh, to find scrap in for ship skin, but uh, did not get that today. Or a probe, or scan, or anything else. Can't pick up that terminal, or the ship upgrade, rather. So that is it. If I'd been a little bit more clever with the motion, things would have gone a little bit better. That said, I still ended up with 18 scrap, one propulsion fuel, two drones, each with two upgrades. Well, one of them had three, one of them had one, I believe. And a uh, total score of 1043. Now, that small swarm... Hi! Yeah, that small swarm did take a chunk out of Ron. 12 points in total. And that means my starting score was a 5... That can't be right. 520? Must have been 520. Well, I was about to say 5... Oh, because I said 20... So I was thinking 22 in my head, and I corrected it to 300 starting health. Uh, so 520 starting score. Total of 1043. Could have had a 1055. Which, yeah, lots of people did. Uh, again, if I was a little bit more clever and uh, smart with my uh, motion, I would have actually been able to do something about that, but it didn't happen. That said, all things considered, worse things could have happened. Um, without sure survey, uh, not knowing where the the doors or the, the airlocks are, basically, I mean, if I'd known where the airlocks were, I could have worked without that room for a while. Actually, pretty much the whole rest of the ship. But it is what it is. What? I know, I'm back. I'm not leaving for a long time. I was gone an entire week, and I'm not even sure that anyone looked after you, and I am sorry for that, because they were supposed to. So far, Smith, Dental 416, LB, and ITJ all have that grand top score of 1055. I, well, could have done a lot worse, at least. From there, we have Kobo Commando at 1029, probably ended up being about the same position that I was. Mustika 21 with a 244. So maybe that wasn't an uncommon occurrence. Actually, not 244, excuse me, 1009. Iron Smeltery scored an 810, John and 495, and Anubis a 120. And so far, that is it. So some people definitely had a very bad day dealing with the swarms. Some people, unfortunately, not as bad. If you haven't done your run yet, good luck. If you have, leave a comment with your own experiences and strategies for a ship like this. Uh, overall sensor, good tool for today. You also end up with a motion as an option, which certainly will help some people out, I think. Uh, beyond that, we had, what, an extra set of sensor? Pry, and... What was the other upgrade? I hope I didn't forget a really useful upgrade. 
If I did, then I did. Uh, Iron Smell Tree... Actually, yeah, about six minutes, I think, is about when that happens, so... I can certainly understand having to walk away from that. If you'd like to check out other videos, you can see Marvin, Copper, Dano416, LB, Musica21, Dargard, Decavoid, Murkowler, and Korontoff, all listed in the video description. If you enjoyed, do please like, and have a good day.